Hello, hello, on Visionary Entrepreneurs Life Changers. How are you? Welcome back to our Momentum Monday. Today is our episode 111, 111. That's a lucky number, like a green number. And also happy Monday as well. And today our topic is about your content, content that attracts, converts, and impacts. How about that? Are you every day thinking about this? I remember many of my mentors, they are talking about every day especially for our entrepreneurs who are being, maybe they did not mention about the stage, but here I want to clarify through my practice. I know that this stage, maybe not for the beginning ones, but it's still a great, a great uh, like principles for, for almost all entrepreneurs. Like every day, your green time, your green time, 80%. Green time means a very uh, like a valid time that's really contributed to your business development. So it's like, a, for example, 80%, you said 80% of your time, the green time, should be really reaching out to your market, should be on your marketing, especially like a Dean Gross Assay, right? Those ones who are super successful, they are so great uh, in the business development and also they are majority time focusing on the marketing part. 80% time, only 20% time, maybe you will do whatever, like behind the scene, right? Do the like operations, do your, especially your offer, your offer development, uh, your uh, anything like your system development, anything is behind the scene, but 80% you should focus on your market and should connect with them. And that's why the 80% of the time, and think about the 80% of the time is really your exposure time your uh, like a exposure of yourself, of your business, of your services to the market. Let them can see you like a visibility time, right? That's basically. And 20%, uh, even 20% is preparing for that time, for the 80%. So it's like 100% of the time, you should think about your content. Even when you are developing your offer, your pro like services and, and products, and especially here, we are focusing on our visionary entrepreneurs who are providing a uh, service-based uh, programs or services or products, right? And your your services is more, majority of the time is like intangible. It's like that values. But what could really express the values of your intangible services? It's really through the tangible content. Okay, T content is tangible, and content is should be valuable. And that's basically how you could provide things that can really attract as a basic, as a foundation. It's like provide things that can attract, convert, and impact. It's basically the key or the core is value. You should keep thinking almost all the time of your business. 100% time is focusing on the values, both behind the thing and in front of the thing, right? It's like in front of the camera, by the way. Now I'm in front of the camera. And or like when you share a post, the post is in, in the front, right? It's like really think about the values wherever you are, what kind of values you can provide. So here we have like different market stages. Like you could have your cold market, right? People who do not know you. And then you can call like warm market. People know you already and they may be already in your community, in your network. So those two could have different, totally different strategies. For the cold market, people never heard about you. You should think about the one, the values is focusing and the things that can really call the attention is about what? It's about the big the big problems. And by the way, whenever I ask a question, I would like somebody, you know, either you are watching this live or like a replay, comment under a video in that kind of an engaging way, you will learn the best, right? That's the best value you can get. So. When, when you are providing the content, focusing on their problems, especially your cold market people who never know you, oh, they will get attention because that's their concern every day. Maybe that's the things they could not, uh, that make them could not sleep during the night, could not, at least they could not sleep well during the night. That's the things they are really struggling with. Like we always talk about uh, your, like your niche, right? Your avatar. It's like people who you, are focusing on help and also also like um, people who you really understand, you really resonate, you love to help, 
and you understand their top challenges and top desires. And especially their number one challenge, right? The most things that bother them, that make them like blocking them from growing forward, that making them struggling, that making them feel like ah, oh, like every day. It's like it's similar, like like oh, uh, like what they could could make them could not rest well. Okay, make them every day is like in their it's like a, they call needle, right? The needle, and how you can help them move that needle. That will be then you will become so like you will become that kind of attraction and uh, impact to them, and you will call them attention immediately. Okay, so for cold market, you talk about the problems, and that's why. Like here we have a formula. I want to briefly introduce this popular formula. And uh, some people in different ways. Like for example, Russell Brunson may call it like a hook story offer. And in my way, I call it like a three A's formula. Like A is like number one. A is that attraction attention. Okay, that's also like a, you can think about the hook or sometimes maybe some people like marketers may be like a hook, but uh, like coaches or life changers like me maybe do not like a hook because we we are more like a genuine people we don't like a hook people right we want just to provide values here so now how can we, how can you get people's attention and attraction there right so that's the number one and the formula number two is um, aspiration Russell is like a story but the, uh, aspiration is not just uh, about the story. Of course, you need a great uh, stories, right? Or epiphany moment, your transformational story. That's the most touching part and the most in, important part. And at the same time, think about the what kind of values you are providing and what kind of uh, aspirations, the teaching point you want to convey through those stories. Okay, so that's the second most important A, that aspiration. Okay, well, after you share that story, after you share that teaching point, people will get, oh, wow, aha. They will get their aha moment, okay, where you share your ahas. And the third one, uh, in Russell's word, is offer. In my word, is uh, call to action. It may be not a necessary offer, right? Offer sounds like more uh, like a formal offer, your product, your services, your programs, right? That's, it's like a formal offer like you charge people like what do you sell your call offers or maybe your like different levels of low end middle middle level or high offer or high tickets right uh, but the call to action it's even more popular it's like including offers of course but you cannot always like uh, every time do all the sales pitches right people will get tired and you want provide more values you want to nurture your market especially when people get into your network, into your community. You want to nurture them. You want to keep providing great values. And especially for our coaches there, right, and life changers there, you you have such gifts and blessings. You you can help to provide values, right? You want to like keep sharing your great aspirations and then call the people into action and make help them really make changes. And from there, you you then later, right, at the right time, you provide your true offers. So a call to action is even more popular and is even more, uh, like I would say, more valid for the things you can provide. For example, a call to action could have different categories, different types. You could call people to, like, for example, answer questions. That's kind of a, like engaging, have an engagement, right? Uh, in your comment, for example, I'm inviting you in this video, under my video, put in your comment and when I ask a question I, I would like to like to see your answer and could that could help me uh, filter and also uh, customize my presentation and my speaking to provide even better values for you especially this is the most important for example if you are doing like a webinar or workshop or master class and you want that interactions right especially like live interactions and people either like have the on live uh, meeting, they could have face-to-face -face talk with you, or like through webinar, they can put in the chat, and you can in the, in the same time, also like a Facebook live, right? We can do the lifetime interaction, so that you can provide uh, answers, Q and A's, right, and also the the, the in time feedback, and also uh, provide the really valuable information or knowledge, and also inspirations to your audience. 
So that's super important, okay? That kind of a interaction provide values. And uh, other call to action, for example, you can call people to, for example, I can invite you to join my Facebook group, Abundant Entrepreneurs Group. And this is a great community. We're uplifting you and we provide, uh, you know, continuous momentum and uh, it's up, like uh, also empowering information, resources to, in, to really lift you up and also help you to fulfill your ultimate purpose, vision and your success, right? So, and also depends on how you define your success, right? It's totally customized for you. And that's a great, this is, and now I'm now live in this Facebook group, uh, Facebook group, but then later I will share on my YouTube and maybe you get access through either LinkedIn or Twitter or different other um, social media, right? I would invite you come to this one. This is our foundation. And also I could have other call to action. For example, I have my Instagram every day I go live to do my, uh, in for example, in 2023, I do the abundance reading 365 days. Every day I go live uh, on my Instagram to read a great book. And then every month we are uh, challenging to finish at least one great book, right? So total year, our target is over at least 12 great books on personal development and also on success, on business success, right? So not business, just not not just the business success. It's also success for your life, like mindset, like all those like great habits and also like millionaires there, how, how they uh, like turn their dreams into a truth, right? Into a reality. So all those great books. And that's another way for call to action. And some further call to action. For example, I have a YouTube, right? I have a YouTube channel. And that's a great one. Every week we have a new update, at least one episode, a new episode. And when you subscribe to it, um, you will get uh, every week automatic enrichment, empowerment, and a momentum to keep you on the track and also keep you in that kind of a momentum and action mode. Right? That's the most important. And all this kind of this call to action, and then that, that all this kind of thing, like the the beginning parts of a call to actions, could be free, right? Totally based on the values and keep providing like values. And then I could have my formal offer, right? Different 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 levels of offers at the right time for my lunches. Like you could have a lunch, your offers, and also you have your like regular planned lunches. So. All these kind of a great offers, the call to actions, right? And all like call to actions and different ways just to help people to provide value and also engage people with your community, with your resources, right? There's one way to nurture and also like to give, to give, 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 and one way to receive, right? So that's like a balance. So are you remembering those like three A's? First A is your attraction attention. The second A is your aspiration. That's uh, the, the middle content, right? Like core content for, with your great stories and uh, teaching points. That's providing focus on providing value. And the third one is the call to action to give like a further value, right? To invite people to go further step, take their action. And also especially for their benefits. This call to action is great. It's great uh, actual values for them. It's like a because like the middle part, aspirations part, you've already delivered certain values. It's great, right? But it's on the surface. It's still not like um, enough. Because for example, even though I give you one hour or two hours, pour on my heart, teach all I know. You know some I remember who's saying that. I forgot uh, is uh, which one like a great uh, one of my great mentors I mentioned like even though I share all I know, give you all I know, right? You may still not make it. You may still not be successful. And that's why, uh, by the way, like recently my, my clients gave me testimonial. And she, initially she's been struggling by herself for like a dozens of, uh, almost like 20 years. She's been in entrepreneurship, uh, in, entre in her entrepreneurship and running her own business. But then the first business was not very successful. She Then she closed it out and want to try a new, a new one and really her and now she's into her like a um, purposeful discovery and also really want to to do the second business based on their passion and her like a, a like a new vision of her life and with her husband together and they were 
struggling by themselves how to really clarify all this kind of like uh, the ideas they get you every day we can get so many like great ideas right resources even though you say oh this is a way i really want to do she found a track she found a track but she has not gained that clarity and especially most of the challenging part is guess this what now every day we're talking about the majority of people fail on this journey this everyday persistence that i'm doing uh, reading the think and grow rich uh, by the book by la Pola hill this is a f great uh, personal development also business success and also for wealth wealth and the riches be, uh, the book the great book it's talking about that persistence in my word is self-discipline and also me and uh, napoleon hill share that similar perspective that willpower willpower okay majority of people lack of that and that's where a coaching can really play that magic through coaching we help them to really build up that great foundation clarify their deep like 11 7 to 11 levels of a purpose and also help them clarify their niche their, pur their purposeful and also profitable niche and then help them to see what is the offer what is a big um like a big problem what's a big problem you are really solving who you are helping your avatar and also your ideal niche and help them to get that clarity and now on that clarity and we help them to develop their branding their value ladder not just an offer right the value ladder design that customers experiences from like a, their entry point and to step by step get more and more values in your services until the high level of values and then you design your offers right and from offers is your content now today we're talking about content so they are giving me testimonials about how this kind of transformations they are experiencing and if i did not in by the way i she attended my like my master class for two hours master class i shared all my secrets right the secrets about how you can like launch your profitable and impactful business and how you can make those this impact but if she just took that free two hours of a master class and go to figure out by herself she may take years i would say to really get what we've already helped her within short weeks to get aware so because it's not just like about the business it's about you we help them her clarify all her inner questions and strugglings and all those unclarity things and especially also help her gain that kind of a willpower and because we are holding her accountable every time she's like uh, in whatever way either payment way or in other like uh, in implementation on her progress on her tasks right all those kind of when she's hesitating when she's like falling behind we are holding her accountable we are giving her that momentum we are creating that kind of empowerment we are getting her like inspired and lift her up to move forward and now she's building up her habits new success habits and only like new level of willpower she's super grateful and she's inviting her husband to join our coaching session to really learn together because this is i'm so proud super proud like our coaching is not really teaching at like just strategies and uh, tactical level our coaching is transforming people is uh, is really like at the transformation level it's at the essential level help them understand themselves own their power own their power so that they could become the creator creator to create their destiny so that's that's the changes you can make the content right the content initial content the like every day we are sharing this content but it's still like a surface no matter what kind of a great great values you are contributing ah i heard uh, the doorbell hope it's uh, it's okay for their delivery or whatever so it's like uh, i do not think i ordered anything from amazon and when they're delivering today anyway so it's like the real value is in that third step is call to action right through the first the first two a's attraction attention you get people in that they done like you've done your content have done the first level of a great things and then the second great is like a really aspiration right you want to provide values and teaching points and share like really help them get that inspiration and open their view get their aha moment and then the third one is actually super important really call to action that's a part 
to help them invite them into more in-depth, in-depth transformation. Okay, so that's exactly what I invited my uh, that client to through the, uh, the 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 master class and get into our program and really become now a creator and also the owner of her business or her destiny, right? Not just business, but destiny. So she's super grateful. So I'm I'm also super grateful as well. I'm 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 so feel like blessed for such kind of opportunities. So content can really bring this kind of a transformations, both for you and also your audience and your leads and your clients. So we are here, like people, some people say, oh, many people are actually against content. When they talk about content, they say, oh, content, you will take so much time, you will da da da, right? All this like, you feel like it's like a big effort, it's big work. So many people will say, oh, like they, when they are doing marketing, right? They will say, oh, you do not need, they even put that into like objection, you do not need to like create, keep creating content or posting content, and that they have some shortcut for you. They have some shortcut for you. For example, some kind of a webinars, a magic webinars will keep attracting people, but they never tell you how they get people into their magic, how to say their magic webinar, because they keep, they not just keep sharing the content, and they even like do advertisement. They pay money, they pay for advertisement to get people into it. Isn't that a content anyway? So that's uh, that's like self uh, <laughs> contradict, right? This is like self uh, um, um, confronting. Oh, anyway, it's just like uh, I I feel like those people are not sharing all the truths to you, even though sometimes they tell you like 80% of you right should be in your marketing, but actually later I found initially when you are just a new business owner, you could not before you. Before you clarify your niche, your profitable and, and purposeful niche, before you design like your 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 branding, your offer, like this kind of structure, course co op at least one co offer, right? Before you have this kind of structure, it's very difficult for you to go there and just keep marketing. What do you do, right? If you are not clear about your niche, not clear about what you offer, then your content will be blind and will not be strategic. And could not really con like attract or convert the right people into your community or into your network, right? So it's definitely everything you need to know the context. So that's like eighty uh, percent, especially at the beginning. If you are, if you, but by the way, we have some secrets for those beginners, right? If you maybe have not fully clarified your niche, not fully clarified like uh, how to say your offer, we also have a strategies how to you how could you create content that can attract the right people. And the first stage when you, before you clarify everything there, and before you go through our, like for example, our coaching, right, our program, and to help you really gain that clarity, fully clarity of your niche, of your, like your branding and your offer. Before that, you can also use content to help you. That kind of stage, you use content to help you understand your potential market, your avatar. If you are not still not clear about the avatar, so that that that's a stage you want to have more conversations, have more like market research, have more service, have more than like Q and A's. Okay, so that's where you want really, and also you do more research. You want to know more about your market before you can create anything. Right, you need to understand what's their challenge, what they are looking for, what they want to pay for. Okay, you need to learn about your niche, and that stage you should like your content then you can also like present a lot of time on your on, on this market and also explore the information but at the same time you should spend your time i would say majority time to do the my what my clients is doing learn from your coach have the coaching sessions gain that kind of inspirations and thinking like a breakthroughs to do the discovery deep discoveries and gain your clarity and find out your purpose find out your who you want to help what is your strength and what is your market and combine that together find your purpose find a profitable niche and also develop from there your unique branding and your irresistible offer and then it's your content powerful content okay so we help our clients actually from different stages design their content 
either it's like a focus market research more focused content or it's like a later part of after you design everything you want to do like dominant marketing like this kind of a content to really strategic content okay strategic content to help you have that like a, we share that three A's right the three A's is already strategic content from the attention attraction to your aspiration then to your call to action all right so and actually this formula you can use through all your stages of your of your like uh, your marketing through stages of your entrepreneurship as well it's just like a call to action could be different all right so um that's for the first question i asked you i want to ask you is what's the most powerful way or what's the best way to really keep attracting and converting your needs and clients so that's what we share the three a's formula okay and also that principle and uh, how when and how how much time you should really present in the market to keep attracting your needs and uh, clients right so many people say oh where can i find my clients where how could i present my message to the market or how could i really get more engagement and that's actually all this question about the first one is like what kind of a strategies you could use to keep attracting and also converting them okay and the, then you later in the later of your business when you really clarified everything and uh, you are ready to provide offers you want to also develop your need magnet we call it need funnels right and either it's online way or it's like a, not either it's like we would say formal funnel way like technology like a software to develop your funnel or some way we use organic way to use the organic funnel you do not need that much technology at the beginning so and there you can keep attracting your needs into your community and then convert them nurture them convert them into your clients okay total organic way not really need the complex uh, funnels that's the first part and how you can keep attracting your client your leads and clients into your own world your own world especially the most important and get into your your email list our email list is the traffic you can own because on social media you are not the philo saying right the final say uh, how to say the boss say oh i i could own all this because if there's any change on social medias any times the rules or algorithm change and your world could be impacted and sometimes maybe by accident you never know someone by wrong decision or operation or whatever mistake of their t- platform you could lose your community or lose your uh all the connections on your social media right that's uh, that's happen often so and especially for entrepreneurs if you have a lot of uh, like marketing things to do and then sometimes some platform may may ban you so you do not want to have that you want when you create your content you want to attract people and convert them into your own traffic into your own email list so that you could keep nurturing them and keep building up connections and converting them right so that's like really like your freedom now whenever you can you want to do marketing campaign or you can do email marketing campaign right you can do it instead of just like a, oh waiting for for example if a facebook rules change you have to wait today for example you can use the at everyone and maybe like a, you want to do another one it's banned <laughs> it's limited or like sending people to your events and sometimes they they allow you one time send 500 like 500 attendees and another time they only allow you like a 50 or sometimes they stop they don't allow you at all to send any invitations so it's like a, you want to control that rules right play that rules of course you want to leverage social medias their benefits uh, features great features and functions but at the same time you should know the limitations and you should have that preparation everything into your own traffic and into your own control all right so that's accountants eventually you call to action invite them into your own your own platform okay and then now the next question is how your content could generate long term really long term lasting and also deep impact okay so that's uh especially maybe i thought if i share this many marketers do not care they just want to get uh, for example they care about the first part keep uh, leads and clients quickly in and they can like convert them make money and that's what they care 
But here we are talking. If you are a visionary entrepreneur, you are a coach, you are like a life changer. You care more about not just like make money. Of course, we need money and profit to be sustainable business, right? But you care more about the impact and the values because that's what we are here for. We are life changers. We want to generate that impact in other people's lives. We want to transform their lives. We want to like in our passion, in our gifts. In our blessing, we want to help them to live a greater life, either on、um, like um, love,、uh, you can say,、uh, relationship, or health, or wealth, right? In those three big categories. Of course, you can have more detailed, like、uh, micro categories, but those big categories covers most of people's needs, relationships,、uh, health, and wealth, right? So you can choose anyone. Like one and get into deeper into a, like any one is a big category and then you get into like a micro niche. So that's where we want to generate impact, help people to gain like become better right in those specific niche in a specific like category. And also we want to help people to solve their not only solve their problems right. Of course, like first level, if you want to make money, make profit. It's really helping people solve their problem. But the next level, like Tony Robbins, Dean Grassi, they mentioned, like, uh, uh, like sell what they want, but give what they need, right? You sell what they want because they are like、uh, obsessed by those problems. They want to solve those problems. They would like to pay for solving the problems, just like patients want to pay for the doctors to help them heal, right? Or other like,、um, let's say, some. A technology platform or software, people buy that software to solve their specific problems, right? They have that specific wants, but then what they really need is how to like how to transform their life and really become the best person of themselves and live, the, become the owner, become the creator, and really live the life they want, right? Especially in that area, you want lift them up to fulfill their. Ultimate like success or help them to fulfill their desires, that kind of desires. Normally, people may not pay for their desires unless those like luxurious kind of a branding stuff, right? For example, the desire for a greater car, desire for some luxurious、uh, lifestyle like a house or maybe traveling, everything like that. That desire maybe they pay. But majority people, majority people, right? When their budget is limited, they only want to pay. For when you solving their problems, okay, it's like a, those because those things are painful. People are more into like a, avoid those pains, okay. But desires maybe they can hold their desires, hold their needs, right? But you want to eventually deliver that or help them not only solve their problems and also help them fulfill their desires and live their next level of life, and right. So that's、uh, where we want to generate impact. So how could we generate that kind of lasting and deep impact? So here is like we teach you how to create that content, not just for offer level, why、right? you you the or call to action level, but create content really aligned fully, aligned with your purpose, with your passion, and also with your mission, and、uh, that is on the movement. We teach our clients how to create content on your movement, the unique movement that you only you can carry on, only you can lead. Of course, you can say, "Oh, similar things."、So、many people are doing the similar.、Uh, that sometimes you feel like a strong pressure of a, like a market competition. But believe that, because every one of us have a unique purpose, and the the movement you can really drive and lead is also unique. Depends on if how you ha- have that wisdom and also that kind of understanding and strategies to create, clarify your movement. And then to lead it, right? That's where we help our clients to really get to the next level. When they come to us, they only seeking for,、oh, how can I make my business more profitable? How can I get more leads and clients, right? They care about this level, but then we lift them up to the higher level, higher vision. And how could they become a leader in their niche? And how could they need that movement? So the content will not just be offer level, but really to be on the movement level. And also the content. How could your content make that lasting impact? Is、uh, we also, by the way, I will share at the end. I will share with you an invitation. And we have a 
upcoming content freedom challenge, content freedom challenge, five day challenge, and now we make it on demand. Because initially, when we share like a certain dates, right? Quite some people interested and registered, but then some people could not make it because the time conflicts or whatever reason. And we found how why don't we make this on demand? Because we need every day like have some like great content there, right? So why don't we make this on demand so you can get the help anytime you want, as soon as you want, right? It's just like on your demand. So then we turn our five day challenge into on demand five day challenge, and even with better, right? Normally after five day challenge, in that five day challenge, maybe every and there's so many, right? Different kind of challenges, you may do very well during that challenge, but after five days, after momentum, your energy drop, right?、Uh, your momentum drop, and、uh, you may not be able to recreate that kind of momentum when your coaches or mentors can guide you with, right? And that's why everyone we need a coach, we need a mentor, we need a guidance and support. Otherwise, by yourself, you could really struggle long time to get there. It's it's just like oh, if you want to、uh, uh, how to say work far, you want to work with a team, but especially if you want to work far and work deeper and really generate a bigger impact, you want to with have the the coaches and mentors guidance and support to lift you up and to help you to keep that momentum. Right to to keep marching on, so that's why we provide this、uh, content freedom challenge. Not just for five days, we provide this five day challenge on demand course. Every day, just like one hour, you get that course and you create your content. But then we create continuous support. You need live support, right? Not just everything like online. The live support is like every week, every week because content at least you need every week momentum. Okay, if you're not Doing maybe like one every day, and this you need every week momentum. Otherwise, don't talk about the business. Otherwise, you are not serious about the business at all. Okay? Some people may show up once in a few weeks. That's just your hobby. Okay? Let's just be let's just be like、uh, authentic here. It, that's it's just your hobby. Okay? If you're not doing even like once a week or at least like a, one or two week or two times a week, right? Kind of a content to To reach and connect with your market, you're not really doing business at all. Those serious ones, those successful ones, are really doing not just daily, not just daily. Okay, they are doing like multiple times a day. Maybe you can take a break. And me too. And Tony Robbins has noticed quite some mentors as well. And Adam Manet, those mentors, they take a break during weekends because you need that、uh, like that time to. Get to yourself and also recharge yourself, right? So、uh, we prefer to take break during the weekends. But quite some successful ones, they are like so aggressive. They are every day. They are every day. But, but、uh, anyway, when they get to that level, they they have money. They hire people. They can do that every day, right? So, but you want to have that momentum. So that's why we are providing weekly support, weekly live. Every week we have a live session. To have the like workshop, to have the like teaching Q and A strategies and implementation, okay. And actually, not just the not just the strategies from your essence. Every time, whenever I teach, because I'm abundance, entrepreneurship and thought leadership co like coach, right? My method is from your essence to your principle to your strategy to your practice implementation. So deeply, like change yourself, and then you could generate that kind of a great content. And great impact to influence other people, right? So, and we how we also teach you how to keep learning and get gain those new, new like you enrich yourself. You need to keep growing, for you to keep giving. And by the way, don't be overwhelmed by everyday content. Ideally, at least once every day. Don't be afraid that because every day, for example, like we talked about, ideally, eventually you want to get 80% at least 80% of the time and energy on marketing. Think about if every day you are not just even showing up one time or post or sharing one time, what kind of impact you are doing? We are here not just for the business part, right? Not just for making money, but we are all here, also here for fundamental. What is the core? The values, right? The values. The content is truly for values. And nowadays, if I do not share one day, it will feel like a little bit difficult for me to to keep silent, to not share. My best learning, my best inspirations. Because we are here. If you are really a coach, uh, like a life changer, who are called 
to impact many other people's lives. You will feel once a time, once a day, right? It's very minimum. It's very limited. And you want at least like if you can only do, for example, if you only you if you have only time opportunity to do one time, one a day, right? You want to give your best. Because that's the value we want to contribute to the world, right? Like Tony Robbins said the six needs, this is part of our needs. I would say the content needs are actually part of our needs. And like uh, the 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 needs, the sixth level of needs, like the bottom one is like uncertainty, right? You want all this food, shelter, everything close. And then it's, oh, sorry, the first one is the certainty, the certainty, okay, the foundation certainty. We want all those kind of basic supplies. And then the second one is uncertainty or vitality. And like more some things like a, like enrichment of life, right? And the more is above is like significance. And then the, the fourth level is your love and collections, right? By the way, the love and the connections through the content sharing every day. We have that connections, okay? We build up connection with our community, with the society. And then the further on is your growth. Through content creation, You will, this will force you to every day keep growing, keep learning, and so that you could have greater new things to share, right? And the, the, top, the top one, the number six, the top one is really the contribution. And when you get to that level, you have that compassion for this whole world. You just want every day contribute. You feel like your life's deep meaning is for contribution. So those top three, see that top three levels of your needs can be met by your content, by creating your content and sharing your content. So actually the first one you are serving, the first client you are serving is who? <laughs> I guess you already got the answer, right? It's yourself. You are the first client uh, you are serving and uh, helping through that uh, love connection, through the uh, the growth, through the contribution. By your content creation and uh, sharing, you are really helping yourself, meeting your top three most noble needs. And then at that level, you can help other people. And that's where you generate the deep and lasting impact. Like in our, by the way, in our content freedom challenge, we share those six levels of content. Six levels, we teach you different levels and also and help you how you can focus on it and really strive to be on the top level of uh, content that really can transform other people's lives. All right, so that's my today's message. I hope you get inspired and feel free to comment on my video actually. Welcome, you're so super welcomed to comment because I love your comments. Okay, that's helping me to get your feedback, to know what kind of inspirations and uh, my values, how I'm helping you and how you get inspired. That will make me, that's feel, like meet my top needs, right? Feel I'm contributed. I'm growing as well, learning from you, from your feedback and from my market, from my audience. And also I feel that love and connection. So that's like, uh, you're helping me as well. <laughs> I would appreciate that as well. So it's like, uh, this is like uh, when you provide values, it's really like uh, that kind of a value feedback and uh, giving values to each other, that kind of a contribution to each other. And, and then you get to that, like a really, Tony Robbins call that grace, at a grace level, like uh, grateful. You will feel like so grateful. You are giving and also you are receiving. So I hope you will experience this. You will engage with us. And at the same time, you could generating like a creating content and generating content in that level to get to that grateful level and also the joyful level, okay? By the way, I have the top three things I love to do the most uh, in my life. The first one is really coaching. The second one, uh, in my business, I would say, because in my life, I love to spend uh, quality time with my loved ones. That's uh, that's maybe my number one. But then the, with my that's including the coaching because in coaching is the, the best quality time I spend with me with you, right? My extended family, my clients, my extended family. So that's my number one thing I enjoy. The second one is really uh, the creating content, right? I, I, because it's providing values that meets my top three needs. And the number three is keep that, that learning part. I love to like, for example, reading books and uh, uh, watch my mentors, uh, YouTube channels, uh, whatever It's all this kind of learning stuff. And also like uh, exploring maybe outdoors and learn some new things and uh, visiting like an art a gallery, all this kind of new things. I'm, I'm like a curious like a kid 
keep learning. That's my third thing I, I enjoy. So that's my top three things. You can see that content is the, the second one already. So I hope that you can really learn more about the secrets, the in and outs, the master, the content, the content creation. And so that you could fully feel that joy. This can meet your needs and also get you into the next level of your business. And by the way, in our uh, content uh, freedom challenge, we help you, we will teach you about content purpose, content art, content science, content strategy, and content movement. And there's five different levels of content, and then you will really master, under, have a deep understanding about the content, and uh, also go to a deeper implementation practice mode, right? That's uh, eventually what matters to help you get into implementation and really practice the things, the strategies, the essences we teach, and then they keep attracting and also converting your ideal audience at the same time, need your movement to generate that deep and lasting impact. All right, so I will share that uh, the, the Content Freedom Challenge link under my video and I look forward to seeing you inside soon, okay? Remember that we have weekly, weekly live sessions, so don't miss that, okay? Join it right away. Once you see that link, join it right away, right? There's some minimum investment. You will see that a minimum investment, but it's totally worth it. Think about all the time and, the, and you know, the, the cost of time, energy. You, you waste just struggling by yourself and also think about all the money, the profit you put on the table, did not get it because you have not gained that either clarity and also you did not get into the momentum to create your content to really attract and convert your ideal needs and clients, right? You are wasting your opportunities and leave the money on the table. So that's, so put that minimum investment in yourself and also in your business so that you will gain much, much more. Okay, we will look forward to seeing you inside and let's take this momentum into the next deeper level, all right, and, in, in, and generate your long-term impact that your life is really looking for, all right? Everyone, see you quite soon inside our Content Freedom Challenge. Take a good care and have a wonderful week. Bye.